Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back once again to FTL Faster Than Light. Now, we have completed everything in the game on hard. All of the normal achievements, all of the ship unlocks, the ship achievements, everything's done. But I'm not done playing FTL. I want to keep playing this occasionally, not as frequently as I have been. But um, someone by the name of Norm suggested that I do a no-pause run. And you know what? I think that is a fantastic idea. I've been thinking about this for a while. And I think that I don't want to use a normal ship that has weapons. I want to try to board. I want to try to board with the no pause mentality, the no pause run. I think it's going to be tremendously difficult because a lot of times when you are using borders, you have to micromanage your crew, and you can't really do that if you are working with a no pause run because you don't have time. So I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work, but I want to give it a try. <sighs> So let's start. <laughs> let's just jump into it. So we have Garrick, we have Declan. I'm going to send one of my crew members into the sensors room because I want to be able to see what's happening aboard the enemy ship while the text event is still being processed. And then we'll decide what we do from there. Now I might, I might do this by uh, allowing myself to pause on the the text event here so like on this screen if there was a ship i would just hit space pause it and then as soon as i unpause it during the combat that's when i can't pause it again i haven't decided on that well because i haven't tried this before we'll give it a shot i will go down to the surface to investigate and find him to join the crew we get another crew member charlie that's fantastic because it means that i can actually have a pilot when my mantises are on board the enemy ship that's wonderful Looks like I actually do have to go through a store to get to the exit beacon. That's actually a very unfortunate sector layout because I'm only going to have, well, very little scrap. But I can very, I can just sell the uh, Mantis Pheromones. Maybe that'll be enough. I will intervene to defend the outpost. Hopefully they don't hack me in shields. And I will send over a boarding drone to destroy the ship. I can't send over my crew. So I'm, I'm going to pause. Intervene. Continue. So as soon as I unpause, I won't be able to pause again. That's the rule I'm gonna I'm gonna make for this. Now this ship has a chain laser, fires two shots, and a hacking system. As long as the hacking system doesn't hack me in shields, we will be fine. Uh, if they hack me in drones, that would be uh, really unfortunate as well because it would destroy my boarding drone. I am gonna have to send out a boarding drone to, drone to destroy the ship. If it lands in piloting, I can't kill the ship. I have to leave. So, I guess we're going to have Declan move into shields because we don't have a weapon system. We'll send over the boarding drone. And then we wait. We see what happens. I don't think they have another weapon. They could have a bomb hidden away, you know, in the hull of the ship that we can't see. But as it's all, it's all up to their hacking system and the boarding drone position. If the hacking system hacks shields, we might want to leave so we don't take damage. If the boarding drone lands and piloting we can't we cannot destroy the ship at all so let's see what happens they they did have a bomb and they hacked me in oxygen and <laughs> the boarding drone landed in the piloting system okay so unfortunately we can't actually win this combat because we can only do one whole point of damage to this ship we i paused but it it doesn't matter um i'll have to get out of the habit of pausing and <laughs> unpausing of course but that's okay. Yeah, we literally can't destroy the ship. That's a very unfortunate thing to have on your first combat of the game. However, it is still nice that the first jump that we had in this run was a free crew member. That's That makes this worthwhile. Even though we can't kill the ship, that's okay. I guess we don't need the boarding drone anymore. We'll depower it. The ion bomb, if it lands in shields, we're, we're screwed. Yeah. Here it comes. That's some damage that we can't do anything about. Can't do anything about it. We got to get the piloting up uh, back online now. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna pause if I can avoid it. There is a fire in the piloting room now. Okay, shields are getting back online. Shields are back online partially. Uh, we might just die right here. They're still trying to get the piloting system back online. Shields are still trying to get repaired. Okay, get. Oh my god, this sucks. <laughs> I. What did I just say? I said that it's okay that we uh, that we take some damage on this encounter, that we can't destroy the ship because we picked up that free crew member. 
Holy shit, this is like the worst start. At least we have the shields back online now, but that freaking ion bomb on the shield room took it out for a long ass time. And now the med bay's offline. So you know what? Go fix the doors. We won't suffocate because that hacking system is only level one. It'll be fine. But yeah, wow, this uh, this is terrible. And this isn't even the uh, the no pause run challenge causing this problem. This is just a really bad combination of enemy weapons and a bad situation that we got for ourselves. Like, they, they, they ionized our shields and did a lot of damage and started a bunch of fires. There's nothing I can do to stop that. And we can't destroy the ship, so it's kind of kind of bullshit. I wish you could aim the boarding drones, because that would prevent these ty types of situations from happening. They're almost out of bombs. I could just, like, sit, stay here and get a whole bunch of free training on my crew, but we should probably just leave at this point. It takes a long time for the FTL to charge. Okay, well, we can go to a store. I'm not going to bother with repairing. If we die on this run super early, then we die. I don't care. Sell the Mantis Pheromones. Now we have at least 25 scrap that we can upgrade something. There's nothing to upgrade except maybe the Crew Teleporter. I should get that Crew Teleporter upgraded because we could have destroyed that auto drone ship if we had a second level Crew Teleporter. We could have not taken damage if we had a second level Crew Teleporter. But yeah, that's just a, a bad encounter. It happens. I'm gonna pause, hit continue. They have a, another hacking system, god damn. Um, another laser, this looks like it might be a burst laser Mark I, so it might fire two shots. And again, they might have a bomb tucked away that we can't see. Let's send over the boarding drone, see where it lands, and continue. Okay, this time we can destroy the ship. Unfortunately, we are in a situation where They've hacked our shield system, and there's nothing we can do about it. I'm very scared about this. It's going to take us a long time to destroy the ship. And at the same time, we can't really do much to them. We only have the boarding drone. We can't send it into their weapons room or their hacking system. Yeah, we might just die here. Uh, the shield room's on fire, and I... No, it's not the shield room. It's the sensors room. Okay. I, yeah, I think we're dead. The bomb landed in the shield room. Okay, well that's unfortunate, but that's just a... Uh, some really bad luck. The first two ships that we fought on this run, both... Both of them had ion bombs and hacking systems. Good god. Let's just let... let's just let it happen. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mantises. Shields are down completely. Boarding drone. Ionized. Offline. Fires destroying the ship. <laughs> I guess theoretically we could destroy the ship. Very unlikely though, especially because there's so many asteroids. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, we're done. Let's try, try that again. Try that again. Give me ships with crew so that I can actually board them. That was like the worst run ever. <laughs> but again, that's just like really, really bad luck. That first, uh, you know, that first auto scout ionized my shield system. The drone itself landed in the piloting system. We couldn't destroy the ship and our shields went down and then the piloting room was on fire. Then the engines were on fire. There's nothing you can do about that. You, you can't, you can't prevent that. And then the second ship, asteroid field, Hacking and ionizing the sh our shield system. That's just like the worst luck. Okay, that's fine. We'll keep jumping. We will try this again from the beginning. Okay. Rockman, NG. I'll just, I'll just pause, continue, and then I can see what's going on here. Rockman, NG. Ion, single shot laser. The ion single, single shot laser is nice because it means that they can't do hull damage. Now, there's a solar flare. We will have to worry about that, but that's okay. I think we just board. We board them immediately. We board them in the engine room. Rockman's going to take a long time to walk into the engine room. We can probably kill the NG first. If I need to micro my crew, I can by walking them into the shield room or the weapons room. And I got to remember, F1 and F2 are the unit selection hotkeys. And that's going to be very important for switching my, uh, my crew positions around because I want to send the... 
the unit when I board them, and my mantises are attacking the NG. They'll eventually get to low health because the Rockman's going to walk in here and attack one of the mantises. I need to move the the mantis that has more health health into the shield room, and then the second mantis goes in the shield room who has low health. And the Rockman, when he walks into the shield room, he'll be attacking the mantis that has high health. So I gotta I gotta worry about microing the crew with the F1, F2, you know, through F8 hotkeys. That's gonna be something that I'm, I've never really relied on before. Okay, so we're go we're going. We're gonna board. Also, what is it? R and T. It's like R and T, I think, to uh, send my crew over and to bring them back. And I'm gonna have to remember that as well. We might not have to micro the crew by moving them into the shield room. I think they're going to kill the rock man, no problem. We get another crew member. Okay, this is. Pretty much an exact duplicate of the run that we started with last time, just we got 10 scrap out of it as well. Excellent. Recover, send them into the med bay. FTL's charging because we have a pilot, that's very nice. Declan can go into the engine room. There's a fire in the engine room, you know what? Put out the fire, it might destroy the engine room, that's okay, the fire. Or the oxygen for some reason didn't go out of the room very quickly. It's unfortunate, but that's okay. It's okay. One hull damage, hopefully not any more than that. Turn back on the oxygen system. It's nice that we have a non-Mantis crew member, because it's going to make the repairs happen really, 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 really quickly. Quick. Quick? Quicker? Okay, that fire went out very easily. Everyone go back to your rooms, except for you. We're going to save positions. We're going to jump. And... I don't want to go to the Distress Beacon, I'd rather not. It could be a pirate ship, and that might be a good opportunity for getting additional rewards, but that's okay. Move in to examine the station. Intruders on board. We could have potentially lost a crew member there because we don't have the medbay up to level 2. I took the risk, and it is just a pirate ship. That's okay. Okay, they have three lasers, two humans. There's not really a reason to send over butters. <laughs> great name uh because they don't they do not have a room that has three spaces in it i can send over the two mantises i could i could send over butters and attack them in the weapons room maybe take one of the weapons offline i'm gonna send over butters i thought about it and i realized that having a third crew member over is nice because if my crew gets into a tough spot if they do a lot of damage to me for some reason, if I get bad rolls on the on the combat hits. I can always have Butters walk in there and finish off the humans. So we're going to send Butters over. We only have a, like... Oh, that's the problem. I see. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, so yeah, we're going to have to have Butters help out here. Hopefully they don't do too much damage to me while I'm worrying about the combat here. Piloting's out. That's fine. So send you over there. You walk in. No, you go into the med bay. I'm not going to pause. I'm not going to pause. Okay, Butters will be fine. He'll be able to take out the uh, Rockman. Let's send another Mantis in there to help. I'm not worried so much about their lasers because they're they're out of sync now. And now that, now that they are out of sync, we have time to beam them or beam aboard their ship, kill them. I could have sent over a boarding drone. I decided not to. Okay, RT. It's T. You guys go into the shield room. Ah, it's another problem, is that they have uh, a lot of door power, something I didn't realize until just now. You walk out of there. Okay, we're done. We're done with the combat. <laughs> that was a little bit annoying, but we managed to make it work. I, I did not realize that they had boarded us. I should have read the blue event option. Or not the blue event option. Oh my god, I'm, I'm my mind today is out of this world. I should have read the event that actually occurred, the text event, because it would have told me that they had boarded me. I would have been able to be a little bit smarter about this. I would have not been surprised by them boarding me in the oxygen room. Okay, we have 32 scrap. We should get the med bay upgrade. Honestly, a clone bay might be pretty good. Because then if I screw up, my crew's not going to be dead forever. But we'll, we'll keep going. We'll keep, we'll keep going with what we've got here. I could get the engines upgraded, but no. We should definitely get the crew teleporter upgraded. That way I can actually recover my crew a little bit more quickly. If they get into a bad spot of combat, I can actually take out auto scouts potentially. 
Ugh. Okay, so... Okay, one shot laser, missile launcher, Rockman, NG. We send out a defensive drone. We, we we can take out the super shield of the ship, surprisingly. We just wait for the pulsar to activate, and the pulsar will take out the super shield. Now the problem is it's gonna take out my shields as well, and that laser is gonna do damage. But as long as the defense drone stays online, theoretically we should be able to shoot down that missile launcher. Hmm. The FTL drive is going to charge up extremely slowly. We will get hit by the Pulsar probably twice, so we might as well stay, wait for their shields to go down, then board them, then kill them. We can kill them very easily with only one NG, one Rockman. Okay. I'm going to send the Mantis into the shield room. Might as well get him some training on that laser when it comes in. Defense drone, hopefully it shoots down the missile launcher. The Pulsar is going to do, I think, at least three uh, ion damage to the shields. Yeah, shields are completely down. That's okay. And I, I knew it was going to take at least two pulsar, pulsar shots to take out the super shield. Okay, keep the defense drone online, please. Weapons are offline. Their shields are offline. We got to go. Defense drone's offline. That's okay. We're just going to have to kill them as soon as we can. Our shields are back online, so that uh, laser hopefully is going to miss. Nope. It's going to land. That's okay. We can repair. We can repair. Can we kill them before they fire up more shots? Yes. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We did take kind of a lot of damage. Unfortunately, they did take out the defense drone system. I think it was the fire that did it. And there's not really much that you can do to, to stop that from happening. Like, the fire took it out. It happens. Let's get this stuff repaired. It's going to take a while, especially the shields. Good God. It's not, yeah, that, that's not that bad. It, it just sucked that they had the super shield. I could have killed them a lot faster if they didn't have the super shield. If I could just board them immediately. Definitely picking up a... What is it? Super shield bypass might be pretty nice because we could board the Zoltan ships a little bit more reliably. What else might, might I want to pick up? What else could be good for us? Things that are unconventional. I don't know. I don't know. I've never done a no-pause run before. I imagine I'm probably going to get my crew killed and then not be able to actually succeed on the run, but that's okay. Alright, let's just wait for the shields to come back online. <clears throat> Man, I'm still a little bit stuffed up from that cold I had like three weeks ago. I rarely get sick, but then when I do get sick, it hits me hard, and it kind of puts me out for a while. No need to go to the store, I think. We'll just jump ahead. Can't spend scrap because that is a danger beacon, even though I think you should be able to, because it's not like, it's not like you are in actual danger. Your stuff just goes offline a little bit. Okay, nothing at that beacon. Very unfortunate. That's okay. That's okay. Intervene to defend the outpost, absolutely. Three crew members. No teleporter, single shot laser, beam. I think we just board them and just have this be a simple combat. We should easily be able to kill three humans in the shield room. I don't like that uh, they're kind of uh, spreading out the damage of Vincent here, but it is nice that we can kill their humans a little bit more quickly, potentially. Because Declan, Declan didn't take any damage on that encounter, but uh, Garrick and Butters did take a lot of damage on that encounter. It's okay. Maybe I should not have boarded them in the shield room because the console for the shield room was in the bottom right corner something for me to be aware of as we go on here. Okay, let's get the medbay upgrade. It's got to happen because now I have options. I won't necessarily be completely effed if the medbay goes offline, if we get boarded or something like that. And in fact, maybe getting the 
doors and oxygen systems upgraded might be nice because then if I get hit in those systems for one point of damage, they're not gonna go offline. If I get boarded, I have more time to deal with the invaders. Well, unfortunately, I literally can't destroy that ship because it has a super shield. So we're gonna have to move on. I wish the ship had a basic laser. Like, I really don't know why it doesn't because situations like that really do warrant you having something. And even just a single basic laser would be enough because I could I could wait. I could wait it out and eventually be able to take down the shields and then kill the ship, but I can't. I can't do it with the uh, super shield online. I can't board them. Or just give me super shield bypass. That would be nice. I will help you find your thing. Uh, we are not going to go to the quest beacon, I don't think. I think we got to get out of this sector. Do we fight this ship? Yes. We fight this ship. We send over a boarding drone. We let it do its work. It can take out the ship very easily. They're going to cloak. That's okay. They have a double shot laser and a bomb. That's okay. I could send over my crew. Might as well. Hopefully they don't ionize my teleporter. Otherwise my mantises will die. They just took out the... Uh, Drone system, that's okay. We took out their bomb now. My crew will live. Second level teleporter, that's all we need. Just gotta beam them back quickly. Was a little bit scary with that cloak, and in fact, maybe boarding them was a dumb decision because I almost did lose my crew members, but it worked. It worked. They have a bomb system still. If that's the only thing they have online, I'm not too worried about it. Let them run out of bombs. I'll keep repairing stuff. It, it's it's interesting because if I could micro better, like if I could micro more by being able to pause, position my units, send them over when I need to to board the enemy ship, maybe the fights would not last as long, but without the pausing, the, the fights are going to be a little bit faster because I don't need to pause. Might as well get you guys into the piloting room and whoever is on engines, go to engines, please. Hey. Nice. You've got more training than our pilot, so that's interesting. Keep getting stuff repaired. That drone will take out their weapon system, their piloting, their engines, their cloak. All we have to do is just dodge these bombs for long enough and then we'll be fine. If they do take out my shields with the bomb, I might... Shit. I was gonna say I might... No, 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 that's not what I want. I might need to worry about, um... Yeah, it's just, we, we just gotta get stuff repaired. Just get it repaired. I, yeah, this sucks. <laughs> There's no other way around it. This just sucks. Okay, okay, okay. Get the oxygen back online. I gotta have the human do it because he's the only one who has decent repair skills. They're out of bombs! Hey, they're out of bombs. Okay, everyone get in here. I hate this already. This was a bad decision. I'm going to lose this run so hard. This is hard. Like, I can't, I can't take time to do things properly. I gotta try to rush and it's causing me to make mistakes. It's causing me to not do things as I normally would want to. Okay, everyone go back to your rooms. As, uh, I wish this drone would also go into the freaking weapons room and take out the bomb that, that it was shooting at us. That's okay, that's okay. At least we got that human. This would be much more difficult without him. It'd take a million years to repair everything. What, what is the ideal ship, you think, to start a no-pause run? Like, if, if you've never done a no-pause run before, what is the, the optimal ship to start with? Is it the Mantis Cruiser Type B? I don't think so, because you have to micro the teleporting, the teleporting, if you screw it up, then you lose because you, you your crew is dead. Maybe something with a clone bay and a teleporter might be better? Like, there's the Lanius ship. I think it's the B type that starts with a clone bay a teleporter and a couple of Lanius. So you can use the Laniuses to board enemy ships and if they die, you don't have to worry about it because they can still do their thing. You know, you can take out auto scouts even with it. 
So yeah, maybe that ship would be the ideal ship to uh, to start a no pause run on because of that whole clone base situation. But maybe also a Kestrel might be best or a Zoltan cruiser because those ships have, well, the Kestrel has pretty decent weaponry. You know, the Burst Laser Mark II and the Artemis is really good. The Zoltan ships have that super shield. Maybe that will buy you time so that you can take out the enemy ship and maybe it's just an easy ship to play as and so maybe it'll end up being an easy no pause run but i don't i don't want an easy no pause run i want to get my ass kicked and it's probably going to get kicked hard so let's keep going here 33 scrap do i buy anything honestly the engine upgrade doesn't sound so bad it will give us something to dump power into when we don't need it elsewhere but i think we might just stick with what we've got you know what no sensors I'm gonna get sensors so I can keep the Mantis on shields now, and I don't have to worry about having the sensor system manned to see what's inside the enemy ship. We'll dock. Wait. Yep, that's no problem. A couple of people in the med bay sucks, but that's okay. We'll have the human deal with the Mantis temporarily. Just keep him occupied, and we'll swap him in and out with another Mantis. Uh, just to make sure that my crew stays at high HP. And now that we killed one Mantis, we can move everyone in here. Uh, human, you might as well go fix up the piloting system while we wait. Try to micro the healing and the repairing so that Butters gets the repairing done. Excellent. Okay. We jump. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything from that, I don't think, but that's okay. And I think we will go to Mantis controlled and then... Man, I, I don't like having so many nebulas because I don't want to board an enemy ship and not know what's inside of it. But we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. I, I'm still... I, I'm uncomfortable, and I think that's good. It's nice that I'm uncomfortable, that I'm not sure about my actions. Like this, for instance. What the hell do we do about this? They have a med bay, two mantises, an NG, single shot laser, a bomb, I guess I send over a boarding drone and then board them at the same time. Maybe try to take out their medbay from the inside. It's the only thing I can think of. They don't have a teleporter, so I can't kill them on my ship. We're going to have to kill them on their ship. Okay. Well. Ah, uh, they also have a... A, uh second level door system, which I didn't realize, and I'm not entirely sure why I didn't realize that. Maybe it was something that just wasn't noticeable. Okay, we killed one of their crew members. That's good. We will recover my crew. Shields are down. That sucks. Get the medbay back online. We're going to take damage here. And in fact, there's also going to be a lot of fires due to the fact that we have no shields now. Yeah, you guys might as well stay in there and put out the fire real quick. I gotta teleport you back onto the enemy ship here in a second. Well, you all took damage from that, but whatever. Okay, try to walk these guys into the med bay. Have them destroy the med bay, and then we can kill the mantises. No, they just walked into the med bay. My ship has so many fires aboard it. I guess... Okay, we did take out their weapons, though, so that's good. I guess we just, like, wait here? Like, their ship will be destroyed shortly because of the fact that they have no, like, oxygen production because it's on fire. The fires will eventually, like, ravage their ship, I suppose. Should definitely have someone stand in the, uh piloting room so we can get out of here as soon as we can as soon as we can let's send over another boarding drone sure open a breach take out their oxygen production or something why okay. oh freaking doors this is this is why i'm not comfortable because i'm keep i keep messing up like i keep not putting the power in the proper systems now the oxygen's on fire that's got to get put out that's got to get put out and repaired so yeah, they have no oxygen, 
Their ship is almost destroyed. One more hull damage will do it, but... Just don't, don't die here from no oxygen, okay? Let the solar flare kill them. Get the oxygen back online. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, they're dead. Good. <laughs> We're almost dead. We did pick up a fire beam, though. It's a gun that does let me go through super shield, which is quite nice. I can use the fire beam for that purpose. I do need some more uh, en uh, weapon power for that to happen. That's okay. It's ta it oh God. get the human in there. Okay. You guys heal up. The human will get the system repaired. We can get the hell out of here. Be ideally before the next solar flare, because good God, we're taking a lot of damage. Okay, asteroid field sucks. Ion beam, not that bad. We definitely send a reboarding drone. It has to happen, because that's the only way we can kill the ship. And I'm probably going to send over the mantises. They will survive. They will be fine. Piloting's hacked. Their shields are down. We got to take out their weapons. If we can take out their beam or their ion, we will be safe from damage, I think. A little bit dangerous, but that's okay. Recover. We recovered. Okay, we got to get the drone back online. We can do that. We can do that. At, at least they didn't hack us in shields or... Uh, or something else. Oxygen doors. Teleporter. At least they don't have cloaks, so my crew's ideally not gonna die miserably. Let's keep getting stuff repaired. Get that boarding drone back online. Now I could send over my crew again, and I might want to actually do that to keep their weapons offline. Because their weapons are the big problem here. They can do a lot of damage to me, potentially. So let's get my crew back over there. Get you back in the piloting room. Oh no, this was dumb. Oh, this was dumb. An asteroid hitting the weapons room will kill my crew. Let's wait for 10. Okay, okay, that was a little dangerous. That was stupid. That was incredibly stupid of me. You might as well, might as well stay there. Yeah, that was, that was so dumb. Because as soon as their shields went down, one asteroid hitting the room would have done enough damage to the crew to kill them. Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. It's a process. It's going to take some time. That was a bad call. It worked out, but I can't let that happen very often. This is scary. <laughs> My crew is probably going to die. Okay, they... Again, this is the same ship we had last time, and they don't have a teleporter so they also don't have a med bay though which is actually quite nice we're gonna send over the boarding drone they do not have a second level door system I'm going to send over my crew yeah. let's just send them over now they will uh this mantis will attack the drone in the shield room which gives us the advantage in the weapons room so I think we'll be fine here we're gonna take some damage that that doesn't affect the uh that doesn't affect my capabilities of recovering my crew, the fact that the teleporter took damage, so that's nice. Okay, a couple of fires. We gotta put out those fires, so I guess we just vent. They can stay in the med bay, they'll be fine. Okay, well, it would be nice if the fire didn't spread too much, okay? Okay, we can open these, or we can close this off. Get that teleporter repaired. Ah, oxygen needs to come back online. That's what I was missing. We're gonna get hit by another solo player. It's gonna happen. I've accepted it. We took one point of damage. I just, I need to get my crew back up to full health. Oh my god, close and open the doors, you dongle! I can't concentrate on all the little things with this stupid no pause. Why did I agree to this? Jump, get out of here. Should have probably waited for the oxygen to come back a little bit. Okay, why can I not see what's happening aboard the ship? Because we're not in active combat. 
We can see what they have, though. They have a weapon system. It's a burst laser mark II. We will aid the civilian ship. And again, they have like the same crew layout that they've had all times before. But I think we can kill them. I think we can we can make this work. Wait for that to land. In the shield room, excellent. They're gonna send two crew in there to deal with them. Then we board them in the weapons room. They leave one of their crew in the shield room. Fight me two on three. We have the advantage, we'll kill them, and then we can move out of here. Good. Contact this feeling ship, we get another crew member. Excellent. Get stuff repaired. Okay, okay. We have four hull integrity. We're taking a lot of damage from just not having evasion because I'm sending all my crew over to the enemy ship to deal with them. And I think it's, impor it's important that I do that, but it's leaving us in this position where we can't really do much else. Okay, you're gonna go into the... We don't need the fire beam. We can sell it if we can get a better gun. Let's go to the store. At the very least, we can uh, repair. We can take a minute, identify what we need. Mind control honestly sounds like something that I should pick up. I'm going to sell Mantis Pheromones. I'm going to keep the Fire Beam because it does allow me to get through Zoltan Super Shields. And it's very nice for a um, rebel flagship. If I get the hacking system, I can hack the enemy. Da -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -boo, hack the enemy shield room on the rebel flagship fight and then start fires in there. Might not keep this around forever, but it, I don't need to sell it right now. Should I get mind control or hacking? I think I should get mind control. We are already using drone parts. This, on the other hand, will allow us to use one of the enemy crew members for combat, giving me a even better, bigger advantage. Maybe keep some of my crew alive for longer. So yeah, let's get the mind control system. Final system slot. Yeah, 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 it's good enough. We'll repair and decide what the hell we're gonna do here. So Butters is gonna stay on piloting. He's gonna be our permanent pilot, basically. Even though he's pretty good at combat, I need a pilot personnel. Uh, maybe Max, 413, six of seven on the crew experience. You know what, no, Let's switch him around. I think the combat experience is honestly more important right now. Oh, you know what I should do? Is that you should be on engines now, because eventually I'm just going to have the mantises be the borders, and you're not going to be a border, so this is fine. Mantis can be on doors, other mantis can be on shields, that's fine. Okay. Okay, this is okay. Yeah, I like the idea of mind control. As long as we don't find auto scout ships, it's going to be good for us. Teleporter Clone Bay. Only one weapon and it's a gun. So I think we are okay to attack these guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Easy. They will board us. Uh, but I think we just send all four of my crew members over to their ship and kill them as soon as we can. Uh, but why? Why not just let the uh, humans stay? Because if I let the humans stay, then they can just dodge the laser, get some training. Okay, kill that mantis, go into the med bay. Then we're going to transport you over into the clone room. And as soon as we get the mantis... Uh, what's the hotkey? M! M? What kind of a hotkey is M? There we go. I did mind control the correct unit. I wanted the Mantis so that he wouldn't deal damage to my crew. We're going to destroy the clone bay. Excellent. And then we can easily kill this Mantis. My crew is fine. The clone bay is offline. Just want to make sure I'm doing it correctly. We are. Good. M. M is mind control. You know what? As soon as I said it, I realized that makes a lot of sense. M, mind control. Okay, I can deal with that. I'm just gonna... Uh, I'll leave you in your rooms of choice. If, we, if it takes us a couple of seconds to teleport aboard the enemy ship, whatever. Distress. No. 
No, we're gonna ignore it. We're just gonna try to get into more combat because I'm thinking about the possible distress options, the really good ones we can't do. We don't have an iron weapon or an NG or a cloaking system, so we can't do the satellite. We don't have a rock, so we can't do the station on fire. <clears throat> Excuse me. Absolutely, we will, we will attack this ship. And honestly, I don't feel the need to use a boarding drone now because we have more crew members. I think we just go with everyone. And in fact, maybe we mind control one of them as well. Then we board with everyone. They're gonna come deal with me, but it's two on four. And then the NG will come in here and attack us in a minute, but he will be easy to kill. Even though we have no dodge chance, it doesn't matter because they can't do much to us anyways. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I think getting that mind control was super smart because now we can effectively get, take one enemy crew member out of the out of the situation. And if I upgrade mind control, I can take him out for longer. Definitely need more reactor power though and engine power. So let's get them both. I can always micro the power should I need it. <laughs> 